Hi, it's Lily Amanda for Portrait Creatives. Today, I'm going to share with you how to remove wrinkles from clothes or fabrics. It is not easy, but it can be done. Sometimes when we go into photo shoot and we forgot to iron our clothes, or we forgot to tell our models to iron their clothes, and here's what happened. We have to put in a lot of time to remove the wrinkles on the clothes or fabric. It's not a fun job, to be honest. So I try to avoid it as much as possible. Some fabrics like、uh, cotton and linen, they tend to wrinkle very easily. I've heard my client complain that they iron it before they left the house. And by the time they arrived to the studio, they were just wrinkled. I always suggest my client to, to bring the outfits that it's not easy to get wrinkles. So that's just one tip. If you're going to do a photo shoot with your models, with your friends or your family, and you can tell them this. So just to avoid a lot of post production work in Photoshop because it's really not a fun job to do. So here I'm going to share with you how I remove wrinkles on clothes and fabrics. Let's get into Photoshop. This is beautiful Yelena. We photographed her when she was about six or seven months pregnant. It's come out so beautiful. She's one of my makeup artists, and when she got pregnant, we're already planning for the photo shoot. I designed this dress for her. It's just basically just use one fabric to wrap her. To make her look like a goddess, and she is. She looks stunning over there. I was so excited to photograph her in this dress. And、uh, let's see how we can remove the wrinkle. And this is a cotton. This is a cotton fabric. So you will see there are loads of wrinkles around. You can see everywhere. It doesn't matter. I ironed it before, but when I use it, it still wrinkles. Especially, I wrap it around and move the fabric and fold it as well. So. It's unavoidable sometimes, and I'm going to show you how you can get rid of them. I'm just going to add a new layer and come on Option Shift and E. I create a new layer, merge all the layers below to a new layer here. And first one, I'm going to use Patch Tool. Okay, Patch Tool is over here, and I'm going to just tackle those very, very easy. Like these are very easy to see these ones. Okay, this is just one way. And it depends on the wrinkle. Some remove very easily, some are not, and you have to see like what type of wrinkle. Like if this one doesn't work, I would change it to maybe clone stem tool. Maybe I will use frequency separation to remove the wrinkles, and let's see how it goes. This one going to take a long time. It looks like it if I do it like this, but you can see it's completely just remove it. It will take time, but it will be removed. Okay, that's the guarantee we have. As you can see, it's already quite clean here. All right, and these are like small wrinkles. I will show you how you can clean them. Okay, that most probably I will leave it to frequency separation. And these are just the big wrinkles I want to get rid of right now. Like they are, you just see them immediately. You can remove them. Okay, so these are the big, harsh wrinkles. I can just do it like this and remove them. Okay, just make a circle, and I try to move it to the same similar color area. I'm just going to move it to place where has no wrinkle. Okay, and this one also. There's quite a lot going on here, and、uh, after I remove this. Wrinkles. I will show you how to use frequency separation to remove them. Okay, this case of frequency separation is very useful. I'm just going to tackle these big ones. I'm just showing you. You can use patch tool for this. Okay, and then I'm going to use frequency separation to try out to see how we can remove these small wrinkles easily. So I'm going to add a new layer. Come on, Option Shift and E. Okay, that's in Mac. I think in Windows is Control Alt and Shift. Okay, so I'm I'm going to run the frequency separation action that you can download from my frequency separation video. Okay, there's a link. Okay, so I'm just going to tap on it, and it will run. So let's see how much do we need. Let's see. So. Doesn't scratches. Let's see, maybe around 
see how much we need. Much is too much, I think. I think he is about right, so I'm going to click OK. So these are the two layers from frequency separation. So I'm going to use texture. With texture, do remember, I'm going to use a clone stem tool. Sample have to change to current layer. So I'm going to just zoom in, right in, see if I can remove them easily with clone stem tool and with this texture layer. So I hold on option key to sample where there is no wrinkle. Okay, so frequency separation is much easier to use. I can see. You can see it's much easier to use with frequency separation. You just literally go through them one by one and you can just move very fast to remove all these wrinkles. Okay, so I'm just probably, we'll just go through a little bit with you. So I'm just going through this with you. And uh, you can see it's pretty easy. Just use frequency separation with texture. And then you kind of just replace the wrinkle texture to where is no wrinkle. Okay, just remember where you sample must, must be without wrinkle. And I probably will speed up for you to see the results. Right? So these are the, this is the magic. One of the thing that frequency separation can do is pretty, pretty neat. Okay, so these are removed. You can see there are small wrinkles are very easy to remove. Where's the frequency separation? And you can see it still, it takes time. It already quite fast with this method, but it still takes time. You can see these little small wrinkles are pretty, pretty difficult to get rid of. It's not pretty difficult. It's just like, uh, it takes time. Just takes time to remove them. So these are the big ones. Yeah, like that. So this is the big one. Let's see how it goes. I think this one would do better with um, color and tone layer. So you can use bigger brush as well. Once you have like a place pretty clean, like you can actually go over it like this. I think. Try not to remove with big brush because it might end up with a uh, too smooth area like that. If you don't mind, you can do it. Like These are so small wrinkles. Okay, so this one you can also try to do it. That's how it looks like with a bigger brush. You can see that's before, that's after. Okay, that looks very, very good actually. So I'm going to speed up this process. This is just a quick way. If you use bigger brush, it will be faster. So with this big wrinkle, I will use color and tone to, to erase this wrinkle. On this color and tone layer, and change it to current and below. And I will use my lasso tool and just select this area. Let's use Gaussian Blur. Filter Blur, Gaussian Blur. 
So you can preview it, and that's a lot. So actually, I will go around. So just around, it disappear, and click OK. All right. If you like a stronger effect, you always can add more Gaussian blur to it. Okay. That's before. That's after. Okay. And if that is more wrinkle over here, then I would just carry on to do Gaussian blur, or I just use clone stem tool, clone here and go over here. Or use texture as well. Texture, you have to change it to current layer and that's removed. Okay. So that just the fabric, this part, it looks a bit strange to me. That's just before and after. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to use color and tone to smooth it out. I'm not sure how it will work, but I'm going to try. So I'm going to select these parts just like that. Okay, I'm going to use Gaussian Blur. And let's build it up. Let's do too much. Perhaps like this. Let's try. See if you like it. Like if you don't like it, you can always go back. Okay, to become like this, and then we just change this part. Let's see, that's better, I think. Right, okay, click OK. And then I'm going to try this part this way. Gaussian blur, that looks better. And then, because essentially what I did is, you can see there are boxes over here, like, just the dent and the shadow. What I did with color and tone is actually I smooth them out, the, the highlight and shadow, so it doesn't look like there's many bumps. Okay, so that's before, that's after. That's what you can do. And it looks pretty smooth. That's before, that's after. Okay, if you think that's too smooth, you always can tone it down with a layer mask on this group layer with uh, frequency separation layer. And then you can use your brush and use a black brush and then lower the opacity to 20 and just paint them over if you think it's too strong. Slowly, like that, okay? If you think that is something you want to do, absolutely. I'm just showing you the way you can do. But I like it like this, so I'm gonna just keep it this way, so. I'm going to show you the clothes. Like there are still some I need to fix over here and over here. But you understand the method I'm using. Like actually, there are two tools I will use. You can absolutely try other tools as well. You can absolutely use healing brush tool or clone stem tool. But I do find with this situation, patch tool and frequency separation, they work the best. Okay, so I'm going to show you this is before, this is after. That's how you can remove wrinkles on clothes. If you zoom in, before and after, so the wrinkles are removed. So you can definitely try out these methods and let me know in the comment below how it works for you. So thank you for watching. If you find value out of it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It's Lily Amanda from Portrait Creative and I will see you in the next video. This is the tutorial today. You can carry on to watch how I retouch finish this image in high speed. Or you can go ahead to apply these methods into your image.
So that just finished. So this is the finished version of the retouching.